Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I've got something truly special for you. An exploration into the past with a pair of vintage 1210 pantyhose in the color of bamboo that were made in the 1990s. Not only we are going to try them on, but I'm also going to share some fascinating facts about nylon and how it evolved through the decades. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the packaging. The 1990s were a time when pantyhose was a wardrobe staple. And the packaging, although it's very simple, it very much reflects the simplicity and yet practicality of that era. The color of bamboo was a very popular shade back then, a soft, slightly warm tone that flatters a variety of skin complexions. It was a perfect choice for adding a hint of color while maintaining a natural look. Now onto the pantyhose themselves. These are 12 them. Let's open it up. Which means they are incredibly sheer. They should feel almost like a second skin. You can immediately feel the difference in the nylon. There is sort of a sudden texture to it. It's sort of delicate, yet it feels strong enough to withstand daily wear. So let's try it on. So what do you think? I really like how sheer they are. The 1210 gives me the right amount of coverage without covering too much. However, I have to admit, I thought that the bamboo color is going to give me a warmer tone on the legs. And it went more of the opposite way. The bamboo seems to be much cooler than anticipated. I find it quite incredible that something so thin and delicate is that durable. If you hold them up to the light, you can really see how thin they are. And although they do have a reinforcement, I initially didn't exactly expect much from them because they are about 30 years old. On top of it, the size technically shouldn't fit me, so the pantyhose themselves are slightly overstretched. But they do cover and they fit really well. The change in the way my legs feel is immediate. These vintage nylons have this silky, quite luxurious feel and they glide on very nicely when you put them on. They hug your legs without feeling restricted, offering just the right amount of stretch. And this is exactly what makes vintage hosiery so unique. The perfect balance between fit, comfort and the barely there sensation. And now let's take a look at them a bit from closer up and let's talk about some interesting facts about nylons. Nylon was first introduced in the 1930s and quickly revolutionized the hosier industry. By the time we reached the 1990s, the technology has advanced significantly. Hosiery like these were known for its durability and elasticity. And that is because the nylon use was often of a higher quality with finer, more consistent fibers that provided a smoother feel and a more refined look. Now, if we compare this to modern nylons, you'll notice a few key differences. Today's pantyhose often use a higher blend of elastan content to maximize stretch and recovery. And while this makes them more resistant to runs and easier to fit a wider range of body types, some of the silky softness and luxurious feel from the older nylons can simply be lost. Another interesting point is the way these vintage nylons reflect light. The bamboo color, in combination with a 12 Danish sheerness, gives a soft and subtle glow. The thing is, modern pantyhose, depending on the finish, can range from anywhere from ultra matte to high gloss. But this vintage pair strikes the perfect balance, sort of just enough sheen to catch the light without being too flashy. In general, wearing these feels very much like a step back in time. There's a certain charm and elegance in vintage pantyhose that you don't always find in today's offerings. And I think in order to get a better understanding of what the vintage pantyhose look next to their modern versions, let's take these off, let's do a stretch test, 
and let's also compare them side by side. So let's get to it. This is just to give you a slightly better perspective of what I mean when I say the vintage fabric feels significantly different than the modern one. And now, let's do a stretch test. Alright. So the Cecilia de Raphael Modern Nylons are a bit stretchier, which is to be expected because modern pantyhose do have more elastan in them. But I really like the vintage version because they do give you this luxurious silky feel that the modern ones simply don't. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Which pantyhose do you like better? The vintage or the new? And see you tomorrow.